Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Check out this little thing here. This is the Gazugu. Gazuzugu? Well, I can't ever pronounce this thing. It's the ATU 100. It is an automatic antenna tuner. I've actually had this on my bucket list for a while, and then they went and came out with a relatively inexpensive one comparatively. Oh, I'll have to get something to cut that open with. Hang on one second. And so we're going to take a look at it and play with it. I have an ICOM 7300, and it has a built-in tuner. But how do I put this nicely? It leaves me wanting. And so I've got this one here. We'll plug it in, see how well it works. And, uh, well, let's just take a look at it. We do have an aluminum case, alloy case there. And it does have a power on and off, a reset and tune button. So we're just going to press a button to tune it. And is the ATU100HF Auto Tuner 1.8 megahertz to 30 megahertz is the range that it will give. And it does come... You've got two choices here. This is an interesting choice on their part, I will say. They have a regular plug-ins here, so if you have a 12-volt uh, power supply, you can run wires direct to it. Of course, you do have your antenna input and pass-through. But then they also include this without a power supply, just a, another way plug that in there and you can wire it that way as well so I guess that's up to you it only requires half an amp that's pretty low amperage so not a big deal there not a lot to it actually and no manual included on this which is a little disturbing but I guess what really is there to do with that you know you just kind of just kind of plug it in and it, it hopefully works I guess so what I'm going to do now is take this thing over to the bench yeah nope no manual I guess there's just not much to it. All right, we'll take it over to the bench. I will put this in as a pass-through to the... I'm going to... So I'm purposely not hooking this up to a ham antenna. I'm going to hook it up to my Antron A99, which is definitely not a 6-meter antenna, you know. And we're going we're gonna to go to 6-meter and see how well it performs on 6-meter. Is it able to tune it? Obviously, the thing with an antenna tuner, something you need to know here, is that it can save your radio. Great, that's great. But it is doing so by drastically reducing the amount of power that you're able to put out. Reception will still be great, but if this thing has to tune, it is literally absorbing a lot of that energy in order to make that possible. So your 100-watt radio may only be putting out 20 watts if you have a terrible mismatch between the antenna and the radio. This will keep it from damaging the radio in most cases, but that's the downside to it. That being said, when we're playing with HF ham radios, oh my gosh, there's so many bands, and so it's hard to have one antenna that works for everything. A lot of guys, myself included, use a long wire antenna and use an antenna tuner to make up the difference, to cut that power back or add to uh, you know how much we have in order to get this just right. It's something that works, but it's just something to be aware of. So let's take it over the bench. And now the 7300 does have a built-in tuner, like I said, but we're going to bypass that. We're just not going to tune it we're just going to use this instead and see how well it performs right here Let's we go. are we got it on the bench here here is the tuner there's not a lot to say about it on off reset and tune power and wattage swr and what it's going to say is here's the power i'm putting out here's how far off it is and up top is how much the actual transmitted power is because quite frankly if you want to use a tuner you're going to lose some of that now i've got an icom 7300 over here it does have a built-in tuner Right, we can turn that on and we can press and hold and it's going to tune. It's also going to tell you, uh-uh. The reason why, I'm trying to broadcast at 7200 megahertz with a Antron A99, which is designed for the 11 meter band. Totally, totally not what it's designed for. But I'm going to key down and well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to key down and I'm going to kind of zoom in on this over here. Hopefully you'll be able to see that clearly. And you'll see it do its magic. Right, I'm putting out 14 watts to the antenna. I'm getting 3.8 watts. Efficiency is only 26%. It's crazy. And you can see that's what we're rolling with. The reason you don't want to use, it's the reason you don't want to use a tuner if you're going to do a lot of talking on a specific band. It's better to have an antenna for that band and do some minor tuning. This is what I'm going to do now. I'll back out and we'll get over to the 10 meter band and you'll see the drastic difference we have in the amount of tuning that is required. So we'll go to 25. 
Let's see there. Let's hit the tuner now. All right, now let's take a look when I do this. I'll go ahead and zoom in. Get a little closer up on it so hopefully you guys can see that little teeny screen. But I'll key down. Oh, we're not in the brake band. All right, so now you can see I'm over here in the 10 meter band or uh, yeah, 12 meter band, whatever. All right, so now you see we're up at a... Okay, so same Antron antenna, but now I'm close to the 11 meter band, right? I'm just outside of it. And so let's go back over here and we'll see that a tuner is actually a really good thing as long as you are using it with an antenna that's close. It's going to get you to not damage your finals, that kind of stuff. But it also will allow a lot more power to go out. So I'm just going to key down. And you can see efficiency 1.8 right now. I'm putting out 73 watts, 40, 57 of them are headed out there on that road. And I can tune that. And now look at the efficiency. I brought that down to 1.7 and I'm almost putting out that full wattage. That's how easy it is to operate this thing. Let me key off of that. I don't want to be disrupting the hand bands right now, but that's how easy it is to operate something like this. That just, just keep in mind, as cool as this thing is, and it is, that if you're going to use like a wire hanger to try to broadcast on the shortwave bands, you're going to be trying to tune just too much. Now, long wire antennas are where a lot of ham users just use a long wire antenna. This is perfect for that. But just remember, if you have a 100 watt radio, your final destination may be a whole lot less than that. You might be looking at something in the lines of 15 watts or 14 watts instead of that 100. But it's a cool tool. The ATU-100 from Gazugu, I think it's pronounced, and uh, I'm certainly going to add it to the list. While the uh, Icon 7300 has a tuner, uh, experience has taught me it's not that great. Um, like, I think there's better options out there. It brings it down to under two. I'd love to see it a lot lower. This was able to bring it a lot lower. That'll do it for today, my friends. Till next time, take care.